time for Fisher Brad to show you how to put the reel in motion with the poles and the camera while recording fish approaching. Got the nickname growing up. It was chosen by the hometown folks when noticing his devotion. Traveling from small creek to the biggest ocean. He'll be catching every monster and feeling thrilled emotions. Whether it's summer or whenever water is frozen, he's always holding trophies up and getting vids posted. Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to fish the St. Clair River in Port Huron off the wall. In today's video, I'm using the PC Fun Lumacat fishing rod and the Chaos XS fishing reel. The PC Fun Lumacat rod is really easy to get set up. All you do is take it apart, it is set up so you can easily store the battery inside, turn it around, just push it in, and watch the rod tip light up. Next, just put it back together. You got dots to line it up perfect, and you're good to go. Make sure you guys check out Anderson's Probate located in Port Huron. They'll have all the terminal tackle that you'll need to buy, as well as some great lures that I show in this video. Here is the terminal tackle you need for the rig today. You'll need a large size snap swivel to hold your weight, a three-way swivel to connect the weight to your main line, as well as a small snap swivel with a small weight to attach it to, to run a lure down to your bead. For the lures, I like to make pre-tied leaders and then wrap them around a pool noodle, this will make setup and breakdown very easy every time you go to the St. Clair River. I really like the small size Rapala Husky jerks in multiple colors like black and gold, black and chrome, fire tiger, or even reds, oranges, blues, all different colors work. I also love the micro-sized Challenger minnows in black and gold, blue, or purple. You can also run Thunderstick Juniors in purple prism, fire tiger, and a variety of other colors to get on lots of fish. For the fishing line to tie my leaders, I use 14 pound Stren low vis green fishing line. For my main line, I'm running 40 pound mono. To start the rig we're using today, we have a bead placed about four foot above a three-way snap swivel. This will allow us to run a slider weight, which allows us to run. Go get it, she hit it. Voila. That's what we're here for, guys. And hopefully you guys will be too. All right, guys, this is the lure right here. Gold and black Challenger micro-sized interruption. For the fishing rig today, we're going to start off with the bead. Underneath the bead, about four foot, we are running a three-way snap swivel. This allows us to run two different lures at once. We throw out the rod with one lure on it. Once it's casted out, we throw down another leader with a swivel in order to go down to our bead to have baits at about three foot and about five foot. For the weight, we're using two pound sinkers by the bridge. It's very essential to use a two pound weight to make sure your bait stays on the bottom. The farther you go down river, the less weight you can use. All you need to do to run two lures for the slider is just attach a weight to the snap. We're running a three foot leader and then we're tying direct to the lure. When you go to cast this rig, you want to aim two rails above where your rod holder is placed. This will allow it to have time to hit the bottom and it should line up exactly with your rod holder. Once it's casted out, you simply reel in some slack line, walk over, put your rod on the rod holder, then you're going to send down your slider. You simply just attach it to the line and you're going to drop it straight down so it will not twist or tangle with your line. When you go to let the lure go, always make sure it's under control so it'll stay straight and even. The current will kick it back and it'll avoid your main line. Now you're running two different lures, which will allow you to run six lures total with three different rods on the Michigan side of the St. Clair River. Once you attach the bell to your rod tip, you're all set. Go ahead and put the rod in the rod holder and then wait for the fish. Port Huron has a wide variety of fishing locations that you can start. I'm going to start above the bridge so you can see exactly where you'll want to fish. So if you do not have the two pound sinker set up and you still want to get on some walleye, you can start above by this rock wall in this last parking lot. This entire area right here is great for casting smaller size jigs with twister tails or even just casting Rapalas. 
You can also whip up the very edge of the wall. Farther down by the bridge, the parking lot below it is another great place. They call this the Whirlpool. For some reason, your lures will go backwards in the current, but it's another great place to fish. These next two parking lots, I would recommend skipping. I've never really done too good in those two parking lots. In the next parking lot, it's a very good parking lot for two pound sinkers and the lures. However, closer you get to the boat, I recommend running a one ounce jig head and some thump em soft plastics in the 3.75 inch or smaller. After the boat, you can line up again with two pound sinkers and it's a very good area to run lures. Once you go further down river, you will eventually run into the filtration plant. This has lots of rails for the rod holders and you can get lots of fish like lake trout, walleye, salmon, steelhead in this area. It's a very good fishing spot. The farther you go down, you'll get to the mouth of the Black River. Once you pass the Black River, you'll be in a spot known as Desmond's Landing. This is a great place just to cast lures from. If you're in a boat, I definitely recommend starting here to jig for walleye or even to pull crawler harnesses. The PC Fun Luma Cat Fishing Rod is a game changer for nighttime fishing. Whether you have good eyesight or bad, it will help you see what rod will go off in the middle of the night. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. I can see his eyes on the camera. Hey, Brad. Another one? Yes. Don't lose this one. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Oh, that's a big. Holy crap. That's a nice walleye. <laughs> that's a huge one, man. Do not let it bite you. But see this right here at the center? Yes. Hold it like this. Okay. With that hand. Okay. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Now this hand, look right here. This, one finger, right here. And put the hand like this. Okay. Purple prism? Um, yeah. Two for one. This one? You guys good luck. As soon as I went by, it was like, it was tugging, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, you got a sheep head on the live bait. <laughs> <laughs> Same sheep head every all day. Well, at least I got one on this rod finally. Cool. Oh, he looks a little smaller. That's a little long, dude. <clears throat> well, we know something like the minnow. Nice. All right. We just have to reel in our lines, guys. That's how easy it is. Oh, it's on the one I didn't know either. Look at that. All right, guys. Okay, now we got to go measure it. 
Nick caught the biggest walleye of the day I'm using this Runkle waterproof scale. See how much it weighs. Big fish, guys. Okay, let's see. 4.48 pounds, guys. Pretty big walleye. Nice 26 inch fish. Next fish, the sheep had I caught. Zeroed it out. Would you look at that? 5.08. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video teaching you how and where to fish on the St. Clair River. The PC Fun Luma Cat fishing rod is a game changer for nighttime fishing, as well as using the Chaos XS 60 reel. They are both great products. I highly recommend picking some up. Also, don't forget to check out Just Fishing Apparel. I love their clothing. Definitely order some products. You can find them on Instagram. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.